Hello everyone, this is Jana Smakula here at Spellbinders and thank you so much for joining me today. This is the third episode in a new video series I'm hosting on Spellbinders blog and YouTube channel called Shaped Cards with Spellbinders. Once a month I'm sharing a card and video tutorial featuring a shaped card base using Spellbinders dies. I'm using the following dies to create this project. I'm going to start working on this card by die-cutting all of the elements first and will assemble the project later. I'm going to cut two panels using the largest die from the Coraline's Chemise Layering Frame Large Set out of white cardstock. Since this is such a detailed die, I have found that it's better to use thinner cardstock. I personally love to use 110 pound cardstock for my card bases, but for this element, and this will make the base of my card, I'm using 100, or excuse me, 80 pound cardstock just to make it easier to cut it. And I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine, this is Platinum Machine, twice. First, I'm running it at a slight angle, and then we'll run it again, rotating it about 90 degrees to make sure the top and bottom detailed portions of this die are cut. And I always run my pieces back and forth. I find this to be very helpful. I'm going to cut two pieces to form the front and back of my card base. You can emboss this die cut, but I'm not going to do any embossing for these. And next, I'm die cutting a rectangle out of blue paper. It is sized perfectly to go on top of the label we just cut. I picked white and blue or aqua colors for my project along with hints of gold but you can choose other colors you like. Don't feel like you have to use this exact color combo. I've also die cut an embossed large label from the Brenna's Corset label set out of white cardstock. And now I'm cutting and also embossing two hemstitch ovals from the hemstitch oval set out of gold foil cardstock. I'm using the oval die here and the hemstitch detail to cut the piece out and only keeping the hemstitch detail die to emboss my die cut. I'm also die cutting a decorative label out of same gold foil paper. I'm not embossing this one, there's no need to do so. And finally, I die cut another label out of blue paper. The die cutting portion of this video is over. Time to assemble a card. I'm going to score one of my card base pieces to create a hinge. I'm using a scoring board for this and scoring at about an inch and a half at the top. You can leave less space, but since there's all of that detailed die cutting on the top there, I felt I needed to score at at least an inch from the top. I'm going to add some tape and we'll also use glue to adhere the two panels together to create a card base. And here's what the shape base for this card looks like. It's very delicate, so a card like this would probably need to be hand delivered or mailed in a padded envelope. I'm going to adhere the rectangle next, and this element will actually make the card a lot sturdier. If you want, you can die cut additional rectangles like this one and adhere one onto each side of the card base. The rest is actually very simple. Use foam adhesive or regular adhesive and layer all of the elements on top of each other to create a stunning and one-of-a-kind card front. Be sure to alternate the colors and go from the largest size die cut to the smallest to have a beautiful professional look. Finally, this card needs a sentiment. The project in the photo features one that reads, your kindness makes such a difference. I couldn't find this exact stamp set when I was filming my, my video, so I decided to use a different message, and this card design can work for many different occasions. I stamped my thank you sentiment in black ink onto a strip of white paper and adhered it onto a card. The project on the photo uses a die to cut the stamp sentiment panel out, and that die also added a beautiful pierced detail along the edge. Lastly, I used a 1 inch wide girl green ribbon and created a bow to embellish my project. I'm never good at tying bows, so I just pre-cut my ribbon and use a piece of gold thread to tie everything together. I find this way I'm able to create cleaner bows for my project.
I used a glue dot to adhere the bow in place and also embellished my card using white self-adhesive pearls. And our project is finished. I hope you've enjoyed the third episode from my Shaped Cards with Spellbinders video series. Be sure to hit thumbs up and share this video with your crafty friends and do check previous episodes if you haven't yet seen them. If you have any questions about this card, please leave them in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to Spellbinders YouTube channel for more education and inspiration. If you are a subscriber but are not receiving new video notifications, be sure to click the bell icon on the home page of our video channel on YouTube. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.